Doubled up on a couple of grayling Tyler upstream. That is a good one. Wait, wait. All right, I should be oh, coming fly fast. <laughs> First, is, wait, is this first your first really cast ever on a fly rod? On a fly rod. Yep, on a fly rod. Resulted in his yeah, first <laughs> ever <laughs> grayling. Look at, Look at that. that. He's a monster. Look at him. <laughs> Here, grab him. Yeah. Grab him there. That's awesome. That is sick. <laughs> Dude, that's that. cool, man. He's got some pretty cool. color. So hold him in your hand. And like, you could probably hold him in your hand and then hold, hold. There he is. There he is. Oh! Oh! Oh my gosh! Oh, that is so cool! Oh, look at him standing up! No way! Muskox sighting. We're approaching the. Uh, the camp here in the next hour hour and a half what we got ty dude it's a fetching musk ox look at that that's quality that river in the background yeah that's sick <laughs> Dude, look at that. That is oh. so cool. Are you recording? Yeah. Oh, yeah, buddy. Here, let me take a picture of this. Look at that. Oh, he's had a little shake. Crew's just loading up. I said the crew's just loading up. How we doing? Uh, we're not gonna make weight. <laughs> That's a problem. <laughs> That's a big problem. Can we leave Greg's food? I don't know. Yeah, dude. Yeah, dude, uh, I'll eat very. Uh, so total weight here, we've got 1,300 pounds that we've got to be under. That's body weight, gear, food, everything. And it's a little bit stressful because we're looking at this and we're coming in pretty close. We're, I'm being a Nazi about weighing everything and making sure we're good to go before we head over there. So um, we all should have done Weight Watchers maybe a little more before this, <laughs> but I think we're going to make it and be okay. Yep. Stand in the shadow right there, Greg. Yep. <laughs> 272. That was 207. 60, 65. Okay. Yeah. You go down there and just let Dan and Scott know, hey, these are okay. like non-essentials, yeah. you know, when you guys get them out, Perfect. and uh, we're good. Okay. okay. Awesome. Uh, Thank you, guys. You guys can go ahead and load up. Okay. As soon as I get the... Uh, okay. As soon as I get the thumbs up, then you guys, I'll have you head down there. You'll drive your truck down there. Yeah. Just, just don't Unload your gear, leave the keys in the truck, and we'll bring it back here and lock it. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. Uh, weather? 
are continuing. It's so foggy you can't even see. Oh man. Come on. Oh yeah? What's going on? What's up? We just loaded up here, ready to take off on this lake. So we're sitting about noon today on our scheduled departure date. We're in a little three-seater here, Ty in the back, because he lost the rock, paper, scissors. <laughs> Pilot, me, and uh, yeah, we just float plane here, so you can see the water. We're yeah, it's gonna be a good time. Good times. Hoping for some good caribou and good weather. Yeah. What you got going on? High notes, eyes closed, holding on. And I don't want another day to break. Mm -hmm. And take off, steal off. Night away Warm shadow Got in store for me. Keep those eyes closed next to me. All right, and I don't right, want another. Patrick. Patrick. Right on, Patrick. Uh -huh. Date and break. Mm -hmm. Take off, steal off. Night away Oh, there goes the pilot We're uh, we're here in our spot And uh, I can see it caribou over here and One more caribou back there So that's a good sign to start off with Ty and I are in here first with Our bags, tent, gear And Kevin and Greg will be on their way shortly i suppose so we're just gonna go take a look around see where we can set up a tent and today's just a scouting day no hunting on fly-in day and then we uh we begin tomorrow Kevin up front. Kevin sitting 1B. Are you our uh, welcoming committee? <laughs> of course we are. There's one. You got your phone? Okay. Gear's coming off. Hotel Perfect. Tundra.
right, Greg. So uh, now the ready? Other, the ready. Other license time to prove it. I gotta pinch it? Yeah, you gotta pinch it. Because I was like tap, 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 and nothing, and then I, I had a pinch it between your fingers. Ooh, ooh, yeah. It's like a bun zapper. Ooh, yeah. Yeah, buddy. It works. It now works. you gotta test the other two. Oh, all right. We'll do it. <laughs> Oh yeah, that one's good too. <laughs> Such an idiot. <laughs> no, I got nothing on that one. Top two work. Mountain House breakfast skillet burrito on night one. We came out here about, I guess I don't know how far from camp we are. Maybe a couple miles, what do you think? Uh, mile and a half or something. Maybe two tops. It just feels like longer in this terrain. <laughs> and we're seeing caribou out there, but nothing big or anything. So All seems very flat out here. We just saw a cow run past us. She made a full 180 degree circle around us. I'm trying to figure out what we were. But that's nothing. That's the closest caribou we've seen on the trip yet. And it's like maybe 7 o'clock, and we're just going to post up and try and get a good lay of the land. Kevin and Greg went another way, hoping that one of us can just kind of figure out where these caribou come through. So first up is some dinner. We got the full first nice bull of the trip yeah. located. He's quite a ways out there, but he's just slowly feeding. Um, he's got pretty good tops, decent length. He's got at least one back scratcher. I can see at least one shovel that's pretty good. A little weak in the bezes, but not bad. He's just kind of like, like almost what almost like real good and i mean today's today's flight day so we, we can't even shoot anything right now but he's like the type that i don't think i'd shoot him on a day one but i mean he is he is pretty nice like if i was to end up going home with a bull like this i wouldn't be too disappointed yeah i think he's only got one shovel can't see another one. It looks like he has one on his left. All right, it's hunt day number one. Woke up to some fog, but now we're out and about. Ty and I split off from Greg and Kevin, and we just relocated that bull from last night. Greg says he wants to go ahead and try and get him, so he and Kevin are making a stock right now. That right is nice. Yeah. That's the dog that reminds me of Kevin's ear bull. Yeah. yeah. Blaze out. I don't think yours has any like super long points on top, does it? But it's got mass the whole way. Yeah, and they're all, they've got like decent points, but it's also got. Sign. All right, we got the first action of the trip. Greg strikes right. first on a caribou. Beauty in velvet. Greg, let us know a little bit about uh, how that went down. Well, you guys spotted this guy way off in the distance and then pointed him out to Kevin and I and we we trekked out there um it was probably what we're a good mile mile and a half I think is about what we trekked yeah and uh, put a good stock on him um come up out of a little hill and he was a little bit this way of us so we started coming this way Kevin did his magic with his 
walking sticks and i was able to get a shot off you bet kevin let's see that sucker. let's see some of that uh trek and pole trek pole just magic. do the trek yeah. pole magic well i don't have my hat on there but my hat was up there dangling like this <laughs> <laughs> brought him right in that's right right in oh gosh Turned him around got him at like 2 30 2 30 2 30 i think is what out. the first shot was nice so heck yeah what i'm excited beaut. What a beaut. I think we did a pretty good job getting that sucker all cleaned out. All right, Greg. Greg just shot his first boo, and we're doing the fat behind the eyeball. Greg, yeah. Kevin. You got it. You ready, man? I'll do it with you. Cheers. Cheers up. Not too bad. It tastes it's a, a little lot, chewy. It tastes a lot like raw, chewy. like bread dough. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. George, oh, there's got a little, little hair on there. you. Got a good flavor. I think it does. At the end, when you swallow it, kind of get kind of that sweet flavor to it. Yeah, it's got a little sweetness behind it. Yeah, it's like a little <clears> bit of sweet, kind of the consistency of like you know if you're making some bread. Well, Greg, you did what you came for. What are you going to do the rest of the time? Help you guys. I was hoping, like, uh, Camp Chef. Uh, hey. That's yeah, Meat Packer. That's, that's what, what you need me to do. That's what I'll do. <laughs> on fire, baby. You can turn it into center and smoke. Cause the house is mighty cold and I feel like melting on the snow. What are your first words, Greg? Hoorah! No. Booyah! That's right, booyah. Made her back. Nice right. work. Sweating like a pig, but hey, it's worth it. Yeah, this sun's hot. right behind you, right to your right, close. Where the heck did he come from? Freaking nowhere, man. So for this hunt, we flew into Anchorage and then drove north from there, up through Fairbanks across the Brooks Range, and we're now hunting on the north slope of the Brooks Range. Um, we're maybe 30 miles or so short of Prudhoe Bay right now, and we've got a really great view of the north slope of the Brooks Range right now. It's really cool. All right, heat waves are pretty bad right now, but 
Kevin and Greg are out there putting the stock on this bull. Man, you can barely see his antlers with this these heat waves, but it's hard to tell exactly how far away they are from him. But they're crouched like they're like they're getting close. Looks like they're getting ready to take a shot over there. Let's go boys. Well, it's the end of the first full hunting day. We ended on a slow note. Tyler and I went about a little less than half a mile from camp, posted up and watched and saw somewhere in the neighborhood of maybe 20 caribou for the evening, maybe 20, 20 up to 25. Never anything really with any size. Kevin got his first caribou down. We're excited to go back and see that one. They've already got it all back to camp. So that's some great news. And unfortunately, it looks like it's going to rain much of tomorrow and the next day at least. So we're not sure how much hunting time we're going to get in. But here's to hoping that we have some decent luck. experiment. He's got his shooting sticks up, kind of like antlers. He's just going to walk straight toward this bull and see, see what he does, see if he comes over to investigate or runs away or what. Grizzly with two cubs. Oh, that's so cool. I'm glad they're moving in that direction. Though. Yeah, when I saw them running. We've also seen a black wolf today yeah. and a wolverine.
keeps looking back too. Our day today has been a little more productive than we expected. We got off and on rain, but it definitely didn't keep us down by any means. We decided to get up real early at five this morning to see if we could beat the storm. Got out and saw a handful of caribou, but not, not too much. And we moved to a new location and have seen ugh, quite a few. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if we've glassed somewhere between 50 and 75 different caribou and actually are seeing some okay bulls this time around. Some with some decent length, not really much for, for tops. Seen a couple with some okay bottoms, but that's kind of sums up our, our day there. Nothing to go after. Uh, we did also get to see a black wolf today. And then Tyler glassed up a wolverine that was running through the tundra. That was pretty cool. We didn't get a video of that. And then... As we were just milling around camp here, Tyler also spotted a mama grizzly bear with her two cubs. And uh, they were running straight away from us as if maybe they smelled us. And they didn't stop until they hit the horizon, really. They went a long ways. Um, luckily in the direction directly away from camp. So it's been much more productive. We're kind of rolling up in the, I don't know, what is it time? Maybe seven or eight o'clock. Seven. Somewhere in there. So we got a few more hours. We'll probably hang out out here until 10 or so. And make our way back to camp and uh, try and keep an eye out for caribou on the way. Jordan's about to get in touch with his inner hunter-gatherer. <laughs> you might have touched it a little bit. And another. And another. A couple of decent bowls out there. If that one on the right had some tops on him, he'd be a he'd be a shooter in my book. Looks like he's got at least one good shovel. Good bezes, pretty good length, but just lacking on the tines on top. That other one's got decent tops, but he just looks like a smaller bowl. We spent a lot of time in the tent today because of the rain. So we got in kind of later last night and no sooner than we had kind of got our stuff ready for bed and it started raining. That was probably it. I don't know. 10, 10, 30, 11 last night, somewhere around there. And it did not stop. It rained solid until at least noon today and then off and on throughout the afternoon. So we spent a lot of a lot of time in the tent. We got a, Tyler cooked some stroganoff for dinner. So we got a good dinner in us. And then we've been out here ever since and have seen good numbers of caribou, no great bulls. We saw two average bulls. One of them, if he just would have had some decent tops, probably would have been something we would have gone after. But we came out to one glassing point. Kevin and Greg are kind of back over here at the end of the at the end of our lake, and uh, looks like they're heading back in. We'll probably head back here shortly and see if they've uh, seen anything good. But hoping for better weather tomorrow. A little bit more hunting action tomorrow as well. There's a little hill right there, and they sat there and circled us. They almost did a full 180, and then she didn't even really like. I mean, she was sniffing and stuff, but the bugs were driving us crazy so that we were like, we This little stream has probably risen two feet since we last crossed it after about 26 solid hours of rain, where 
yesterday, we could just jump across it. Now it's pretty deep and wide. Go over. Uh, I don't think feel it might it. have gone over on your right leg a little bit. <laughs> I don't, I don't feel know. it yet. Maybe not. Dang. Gosh. It's like a full, seriously, maybe two feet higher than it was because <laughs> these the roots of this tree were so exposed yeah. two days ago. And that over there was a flat bank. We could just jump right across, no problem. Gosh. So it's about noon on our fifth hunting day and we spent a lot of the last two days stuck either in the tent or under a tarp uh, because of the rain. There's a serious amount of rain coming down up here. The creek by our camp has risen by like probably at least 18 inches um, just from the last two days of rain. So everything's super soggy. Today we finally have some broken clouds, even a little bit of sun. And we are about a mile and a half from camp and have seen a few of that upper age class level of bulls. We're looking at one right now that's kind of feeding our direction that uh, if he keeps coming this way, we're probably going to make a play on. We also bumped one that we've been seeing the last two days that ran past us that, I don't know, I still think maybe we could have... If we would have been in a better position, I think it maybe would have been worth shooting. He, he had a big frame, but not a lot of tops. But we are just going to hang tight and pray that the weather holds and that these bulls can keep getting closer. Where they're at right now is just a little a little farther from camp than we would like to pack them. So, And with them moving in our direction, there's not really any reason for us to start closing the distance yet. Uh, so if this weather holds, which is looking pretty nice all around us, We're hoping that something materializes from these bulls. Yeah. Okay, I gotta wait for him now. Ready? Yep. Oh, drilled him, dude. He's down. He's down. Oh, he's back up, but he's hurting. He's not going far. Oh, yeah, that was perfect. Oh, my oh, God. Oh, he's gushing blood. Gushing. Stop. Ready? Yep. Oh, drilled him, dude. He's down. He's down. Oh, he's back up, but he's hurting. He's not going far. Oh yeah, that was perfect. Oh my God. Oh, he's gushing blood, gushing. I'm just gonna let him die. Yeah. Oh, look at that shovel. Should I shoot him again? No, no, he's going down. How's that other one, that other one look? He actually looks pretty good. Just a little bit smaller frame. Great tops though. You think I, I should down take... here and look at him through the scope? Yeah. Get... Hey, I can, uh... I'm on him. Oh. I just can't see his vitals. There, there, there. Oh. If he moves his head. Huh? Yeah, you hit him. I got a good side. Fudge. Hit him again, hit him again. Missed. Wait for him to turn. I think that hit. That one hit, I heard it. It was right at the bottom of the screen.
I think I gotta shoot mine again, dude. Yeah. Okay, mine's down. Okay. Over here, George, over here. Okay. Come switch me. Are you ready? Yep, I've got him. Wanted to turn. Drilled him in the rib cage, man. There you go. Oh, I think he's going down. <sighs> oh. <laughs> Holy crap! Oh my gosh! <sighs> Two good ones down. Two good ones down. This has a great look. Yeah. Smaller frame, but he's got good tops. He's got average bottoms. We underestimated him from afar. I mean, we knew the other bulls he was with had good tops. You know? Oh, how quickly things can change. With all that blood coming out. Dude, I don't know how he stayed up. Holy shnikes, man. What is this bowl made of? Did I know your first shot broke his leg? Like, hit him in the shoulder. I saw blood gushing out, too. Well, yeah, I mean, like, that should put him down on the spot. Yeah. Like, normally when something gets hit in the shoulder like that, you know, it's a, it's at least a single, usually double lung, and breaks their leg, and they just oh, crumple. didn't get your first shot <laughs> I looked up and it wasn't recording so you're like okay here he goes and I looked up and I saw zeros on there patch. but you got us like a third one I got the second third okay that's good enough I was like no and I was like just wait I wanted to be like just one second things happened fast here just about 10 minutes ago we made a long stock on this bigger bowl big frame bowl with not much for tops Kind of went back and forth as to who wanted to shoot him. We're a long ways from camp, so trying to decide if we even wanted to shoot them. But considering we've been out here in the field for six days, we thought we probably ought to at least get one down. Since we have, we'll have three hunt days left after today, and there's still rain in the forecast, so we never know what the weather's going to bring. So I came up here, laid down, shot this, uh, shot the big framed bull, and at that time, his buddy over here poked his head up showed all the right character good bottoms some of the better tops that we've seen out here and just a slightly smaller frame than mine uh but but more rounded with everything so tyler said should i shoot that one i peeked over in my rifle scope and was like you know he looks pretty good good shovel good bezes and so we swapped tyler jumped down with his gun and shot him. Mine, my bowl was at about 350. Tyler's, by the time you shot it, was about 300, I think. Yeah. Maybe. Uh, so here they are, about 30 yards apart from one another. And we're gonna go up and take a closer look at them and get to work on them. All right, here we go. Oh wow, great shovel. Yeah. Holy oh, smokes. Wow. Pretty good bezes too. I mean, Matt like palmated bezes, you know? Yeah. Loving that shovel though. Lift him up, let's see him. And huge shovel. Yeah, that's a big old On shovel. that one side. Yeah. Nice. Crazy long bezes too. Yeah. And if he had tops, it'd be. He's got good back scratchers on both sides. Yeah, true. Nice. Oh, sweet. That is awesome. Oh man. Oh, dude, there's nothing wrong with that. Oh, dude, there is nothing wrong with that. 
Look at that, man. Oh, sweet. Oh, double back scratchers. Again, it's all just kind of in a little bit of a smaller package, but that's what we're seeing out here. We haven't seen anything. All the big framed ones don't have really good jeans. Smaller framed ones have some of the better stuff, but I mean, he's got, he's got a good, good length on his shovel down here. Unfortunately, it doesn't shovel, but great uh, shovel on this side. Solid bezes, double back scratchers. Pretty good time length on top, a little bit of palmation. I mean, he's got almost everything you want just in a little bit of a smaller package. I love it, man. Nice ball. Thanks. Woo! Sweet. Photo session done. Just ate a little bit of lunch, late lunch. It's, I don't know what time is it? Four o'clock? I don't even know. It's tag time. Boom. There we go. 2023 boo. We're gonna go ahead and get to work on uh, quartering them out. Yeah. Get your knife. So we have definitely found ourselves in an area that's rich in tussocks. Which are these big grassy mounds. But unlike last time we came to Alaska, you can navigate between the tussocks and high step between them instead of balancing on top of them because of all the standing water that's in there, which is what happened last time we came. This is definitely, definitely better, but man, you just gotta be looking down at the ground the whole time. Otherwise you're gonna be tripping on things like this. Gonna make this pack out pretty tough. Get pretty deep in between these things. Got all loaded up, about half a caribou for Ty. Half a caribou for me back there. And we have 2.7 miles back to camp. Holy crap, cross tussocks. We are in a bit of a bind here. Our river that we crossed this morning that was already 18 inches higher than it was yesterday seems to have risen another maybe 12. I mean, the banks that we had seen are completely submerged. Tyler just tested some water that was easily belly button deep. And with all of our gear, guns, electronics, everything we got, I don't know how we're gonna get across this thing. It's gonna be horrible. You think so? I think we're gonna get wet, but it's short enough. You might be able to just kind of like jump and fall across. All right, I'll come down, hold on. Our river crossing last night didn't work out like we were hoping to. We had to strip down and go nude. And so Tyler is heading over. Probably are barely even going to be touching the ground. I'm just going to dump it. <laughs> you got it, you got it. Nothing like yesterday? <laughs> like freaking spa. <laughs> hey, everybody's doing like morning ice baths now. <laughs> this is mental health. Crossing the marshes. Jordan and Ty on their way back from their three mile trek for their bowls. Let's see if I can hold still here. <laughs> now they've got to be worn out.
What's up, guys? <laughs> Man, you can't prepare for that. Here comes Ty crossing the river. Kev's got the pack. Last night in Caribou Camp. How you feeling, Kev? Good, man. Good. Good. Oh man, it's been a long week, but totally <laughs> worth it. Totally worth it. Yeah, that's true. How's everybody feeling up in the tent? Oh, awesome. yeah. feeling great. Just exhausted. <laughs> oh man. Well. We got some clear skies tonight for like the second time this whole trip, so <laughs> it's great. Yeah, it hurt. Yeah, that was what got me was the like the rocks on the bottom hurt much worse. Yeah. And and I feel like the shore on that side is more of a straight drop. The yeah. shore on oh, this yeah. side was a little more gradual. Yeah. Because over there, it, you went from like knee deep Nothing to, to just thunk. like all the way down. Yep. Chest deep. And it was like, oh. <gasps> yeah. From now till 1 p.m. has 0% chance of rain. And then it says at 3 p.m. there's 30%. And it's saying it's supposed to get up to 56 degrees at 1 p.m. Oh, good. So That means that fog won't set in. If it's 56, there won't be fog. At um, yeah. is that's a much warmer day than today yeah, right definitely. oh yeah 10 degrees to 12 degrees it was or 40 40 was it 46 today like a high of 46 46 that's right so yeah so it's eight degrees warmer sing it jordan in low places <laughs> We just got the call that uh, pilot's gonna be on his way pretty soon here, so we just have to break down the tent. Everything here is loaded up and ready. And we should be out of here today. Big load of meat too. Nicest day of the trip. Nice, it is. It's the most sun we've had in the entire trip. There we go. <laughs> got that. We got our antlers ready to roll. Ready to get out of here.
Hey, you can't park there!